morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? I wish you all doing great. So today we are going to have a lecture about Unit Eleven. My bag's been stolen. This is the topic of this unit. Okay, so let's first get ready to listen and speak. Uh, which emergency services have you had experience of? Okay, uh, now I'm I'm going to ask you which experience have you been in? Uh, for example, calling your police, fire department, or have you ever needed needed an ambulance? Ambulance means it's off, no? Yes, and also coast guard. Coast Guard uh, اللي هم خفر السواحل أعتقد هم نفسهم الشرطة اللي بالمياه يعني من يصير حادثة غرق نحتاجهم Yes, so please tell me about your experience We are going to uh, talk about this on Telegram So I try to prepare an experience for that Yes, or a situation actually. If you haven't been in experience, so just imagine that you are in such a situation and you uh, are talking about it. Okay, so how many phrases can you make by adding police or fire to the words below? We have words below. Uh, look at these words. We have officer, car, brigade, fighter, alarm, engine, station, siren and also force so we need to add uh, the word police to one of these words or fire in order to make phrases okay so for example we, c we say police officer we say police car we say also uh, fire brigade and or uh, fighter what we use fire uh, firefighter Firefighter, it is the same as police officer, uh, as a phrase, I mean. Yes, uh, alarm, a fire alarm, yes. Engine, we say fire engine. Uh, station, police station or fire station, we can use both of them. Uh, siren, siren safarat in that. So it is uh, police siren, police siren. And also force, police force, yes. Uh, so, uh, let's move to listening A, reporting crime. Well, Lang, Lang is a Chinese student in the UK, reports a crime at the campus security office. Look at the form and identify the information to listen for. Uh, look at this form in front of you and try to fill it or to identify, just identify the information that you are or you would uh, expect to listen to. Uh, Bristol City University crime report form, day or time, for example, the crime happened at, uh, or sorry, on Tuesday, uh, and B, the month, you can write the month, uh, type of crime, type of crime, is it theft uh, or burglary, burglary and yani subtle, uh, theft, نفسها ثافت لكن شوية أكبر عملية أكبر uh, assault or other assault اعتداء okay any kind of assault uh, or other like killing or slaining or these crimes you can use any crime that comes to your mind location or just prepare information we are saying or we are uh, here to prepare information location where is the location where is the location that uh, the crime happened at? Victim, the name of the uh, victim and the address where he or she lives. Details of crime, what are the details of the crime? Suspect, how the suspect looks like, the appearance, his appearance or her appearance. And additional details. So now let's listen to listening 18 and decide oh, to fill up this uh, information card. Recording 18. Oh, hello. Is this where I report something stolen? Yes, that's right. Just let me get the right form. Okay. What's your name, please? Wen Ling Tai. That's W E N space. L-I-N-G Tsai T-S-A-I Okay, and where do you live? 17A Park Avenue
Avenue, Bristol. The postcode is... Oh, hang on. 17A Park Avenue, you say? Yes, in Bristol. The postcode is BR26YT. 6YT. Okay. So, what was stolen? My bag. I was outside the library. This man just grabbed it and ran away. I see. So, when was this? At around 12.30. Okay. Did you get a look at him? Yes. He was medium height with short, dark hair and glasses. Oh, and he had a moustache. Right. And what was he wearing? Blue jeans and a black jumper, I think. And white running shoes. Okay. Now, additional details. Can you describe the bag? It's a small black leather bag with a zip along the top and a shoulder strap. Huh? Are there any distinguishing marks on it? Any scratches, for example? Not really. Just a small tear on the handle. Uh, okay. Well, we'll look into it. Okay, so one link uh, described the appearance of the suspect and also the details of crime. She gave him uh, the location, I mean, gave the police officer the location and uh, her name also and her address. And she uh, said uh, the type of crime is a theft. Uh, what was stolen from her? Her bag uh, was stolen and she described her bag to the police officer. She told him that it was a small black leather bag uh, with a zip on the top of it. Okay, and also she said with well, a trip, I guess. Uh, anyway, and also uh, she uh, described the appearance of the suspect in details. She told him about his height, uh, middle height, and also what he wears, black jump and uh, jeans, and also white running shoes, and other details that she gave them to the police officer. Okay, so learning tip. Uh, whenever possible, try to identify the information you need before you listen. So before you listen to any conversation, you have to identify what you are going to listen to. So try to identify uh, or think about the information that you are going to listen to. That way you are better prepared. So you are prepared now to listen and to focus on what the first speaker is saying to you. Then. While you listen, focus only on listening for those details and don't worry about anything else. Again, I, I said it before and I'm saying it now. Uh, when you listen, don't think of any anything else. Just listen. Just try to focus what the first speaker is saying to you. Yes, so let's move to focus on adjectives to describe appearance. Okay, so uh, in the next speakup, we are going to describe appearances. So before that, let's focus on adjectives that we can use or we may use in order to describe appearances. Write these words and expressions next to the correct category. Okay, we have five categories, I guess. Height or build, hair, age, face, style of dress. Okay, and we have adjectives. So we are going to classify these adjectives into categories, into these five categories. Uh, in his 30s, this is uh, to age, very good. Wavy, her, very good. Muscular, muscular uh, it is for bold, I guess. And round, face. Shoulder length, we can use it to her. Stride, I think it is for her. Slim, for uh, bold, or can be used for uh, face, I guess. He has a, a slim face, or he is a slim, uh, just in bold. Okay, Kelly, it is for her. Scurfy, uh, it means dirty. So we can use it to style of dress. He dresses to crafty. Okay, you can say, you can say that. Okay, smart. Uh, it is again with a style of dress. So he looks smart by his dress, or he dresses in smart. 
casual again it is with the style of dress so he wears in casual uh permit permit uh, it is a kind of her style 40 or 40 ish can be classified classified to the uh category of age yes overweight overweight is used for height and build yes and stocky the same also categorized to be with height and build uh oval oval means uh like an egg so it is uh, a shape like an egg it is used for face a skinny also used to uh height and build like when we are saying he's skinny or she's skinny and square square used for face shape yes so now let's move to speaking B, giving a description or giving descriptions. Number one, speaking strategy is describing someone's appearance. So now we are going to describe someone's appearance. Okay, look at this extract, underline the words and phrases one leg uses to describe the thief. So one leg the Chinese person uh, tries to uh, use some phrases or some words in order to describe the thief for the police officer. So the guard said, okay, did you get a look at him? One leg said, yes, he was medium height with short dark hair and glasses. Oh, and he had a mustache. A mustache means uh, like hair above the mouth. Like we see, men have bread uh, under the mouth and the mustache, uh, it is placed, it is hair placed above the mouth. So moving to speak up to, look at these people, describe each person's appearance in detail and including what they are wearing. Okay guys, so have a look at these five people and try to describe they are in details, what they are wearing, how they look like and also uh okay you can make use of the adjectives in the focus on in the previous slide uh you can use uh adjectives of height or build adjectives for hair adjective for age and adjectives for face look and also adjectives that we can use them to describe a style of dress okay if you don't have what so just you can get back to the previous style of the focus on uh, adjectives to describe appearance and to make your what okay uh, we are going to listen to your description of these people or of those people on the telegram yes so let's move to speaking uh, G, uh, speaking C, not G. Speaking C, giving description to the speaking strategy that is used here is to describing things. So we've described someone's appearance. Now we are going to describe things. Okay, look at this extract. Uh, underline the words and the phrases one language uses to describe her bag. Her bag have been or had been stolen. So she uses some phrases in order to describe it for the uh, guard or for the police officer. Uh, the guard said, can you describe the bag? One leg said, it is a small black leather bag with a zip along the top and a shoulder strap. Okay, so uh, before moving to speak up to, let us have the focus on uh, order of adjectives. Look at the usual order of adjectives below, and then rearrange the adjectives in each sentence. This means that uh, actually we don't arrange adjectives randomly. There is a special kind of arrangement that we have to follow in order to talk about uh, the details uh, or adjectives. The first kind of adjectives is the adjectives or opinion. The second is the of size. The third is of age, four of shape, and five of color, six of origin, and seven of material. Okay, so if you uh, talk about a bag, for example, you can say it is a new, big, uh, old, rounded, uh, red, French leather bag. Okay, so we have many adjectives in order to describe a bag for example and these adjectives must be arranged 
according to this sequence. Okay, so let let us solve uh, these sentences or let us arrange or rearrange the adjectives in the correct order. A. I lost an Italian plural lovely silk scarf yesterday. So these adjectives must be lovely plural Italian silk. Okay? Yes. B. Someone's stolen my back in new denim jacket. So we must rearrange these uh, adjectives into new black denim. New is uh, adjective of opinion, black of color, and finally denim of um, origin. Yes. Uh, C. My pink wonderful diamond bracelet is missing. So first, uh, wonderful opinion. Second, uh, pink which is the color, and finally diamond, which is the material. So we are going to have wonderful pink diamond bracelet. Yes. D. It is a rectangular large mahogany disc. So rectangular is shape, large is size, and mahogany is origin. Yes, so we will have large rectangular mahogany. Okay? Yes. A. Someone's taking my French tall crystal vase. So, French is origin. Tall is size, let us say. Crystal is the material. So, we will have tall French crystal vase. Okay, so now, is it clear? Till so now, uh, we have to arrange uh, adjectives in order. According to first opinion, second size, third age, fourth shape, fifth color, sixth origin, and seventh last lay material. So if we have a three or four or seven adjectives, we have to arrange them into this sequence. Okay, so now let's get back to speak up to look at these bags and describe each one as fully as you can. Okay, so we have five bags, and I need you to describe these bags, whether in text, like on model, or on telegram invoices. And of course, I prefer to do both of the ways. Okay, so for example, A, we have, you say, or you may say, it is a small black leather bag, small black leather bag with a zip on the top of it. See that zip? Okay along the top and shoulder strap. The second B, for example, you can say it is a small uh, red leather bag with a bottom on the middle of it and a shoulder strap. Okay, so you can describe uh, these pictures or these paths uh, using the adjectives that you can use. So try to describe them as fully as you can and send the description as text on the model or as uh, voices on the telegram. And I prefer to do both of the ways. So this is all for our lecture for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. See you next lectures. Goodbye.